Hello everybody, it's is Stranger Gamer back for another water washout video. We're starting the quarter final round and we got three matches for you to sink your teeth into. So, let's get wet. Alrighty then, and just like before, it's the best of three. And in the red corner we have the Isosaurus. Defeated the Super Mimus in the first round. That Hydro Cutter could do some damage. Well, it will do some damage if he gets it off because it's quite a powerful move and this is critical move. Its technique though is something to be desired, but the super defense type might come in handy. Anyway, in the blue corner, as you can see here, we have a Spinosaurus. Again, a water critical move here, but this one is Water Sword. And a bit of Neck Crusher as well, so I and way more technique than the Isosaurus. Um, I'm going to go with the Spinosaurus. I think the Spinosaurus will win this one, but I think it is going to be a close match. Ooh, the Isosaurus gets the first hit, though. Dealing a, not too much damage. I think Isosaurus doesn't have too much attack. It's more, more of an all-rounder. Okay, it'll just tape up. Ooh, the Isosaurus gets another hit. Not, not looking good for the Spino. Oh, that's more likely from the Spino. A Crowlophosaurus coming in for light recovery. And a Neck Crusher to boot. Not dealing too much damage. But that's because the Isosaurus is a super defense type. Which means it which means it sustains less damage than normal dinosaur, other dinosaurs. So this is kind, it's kind of a tank, isn't it? I, I know in the DS game, the Isosaurus has the most health out of anything. I don't I think that might be the case in this game. Like, apart from, like, eel... Oh, we got a double recovery coming with Lilienkua and light recovery. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, I think out of the normal dinosaurs, I think the Isosaurus does have the most health. Well, that health is paying dividends because the Isosaurus is pretty much on top here, but the Spino does get a crucial hit off, and another light recovery will come in handy. <laughs> this could be a long match if they keep getting light recovery off. Ooh, the Isosaurus went for a Hydro Cutter to finish it off, but the Spinosaurus is having none of it. And a Neck Crusher coming in to boot, dealing more damage, wearing down the big bulk of Isosaurus. Oh, a tie, that'll come in handy. And all of a sudden, it's a bit even Stevens. Oh, the Spinosaurus, I think he might have won it. Isosaurus is hanging on by a thread! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Super defense type is good, isn't it? But, despite the Isosaurus hanging in, hanging on, the Spino comes from behind with consecutive attacks to defeat the big tank that is Isosaurus. Or Titanosaurus called Bertie. Alrighty then, on to round two. And will the Spinosaurus take the 2-0 in, win into the semis, or can the Isosaurus even the score? Well, we saw how effective those two recovery moves could be. I mean, they don't give much health back, but when they're together, they do heal a bit. <laughs> Poor nature's blessing as well. That'd be, that'd be interesting, actually. Anyway, there's our Spinosaurus coming from behind in the last round. I, re I did think his, I did thought his goose was going to be cut that round, but he came back strong and beat the Isosaurus. But can he beat him again? Oh, we start with a tie. Um, yeah, that'll definitely that'll suit the Spinosaurus, as I think the Spino I'm using is tie type, which means it will sustain less damage in a tie while dealing slightly more damage. And speaking of damage. A water sword coming in, dealing massive damage to Isosaurus. But the Hydro Cutter has been triggered. The Isosaurus is going for it. And he gets it! The Crowlophosaurus coming in for the light recovery. 
the Isosaurus. This is just what it needed. Oh, massive amount of damage dealt and a little bit of health healed up. And all of a sudden, the Isosaurus is in the lead. Ooh, he gets another hit off. The Spinosaurus hanging in there a bit. Ooh, how crucial could that be? A water sword. I think the Spino has just snatched it. Yeah. I'm kind of ashamed, but the Spinosaurus, a 2-0 victory over Isosaurus will take his place in the semi-finals. Um, that was quite a good match. You know, you definitely saw the water sword, you saw the hydro color. Uh, a little bit surprised, but uh, as, I, as I said at the start of the match, I thought the Spino would win, and it did, so... Yeah, a good match there, a good match there. But, let's move on to our next matchup, and this one is a cracker. Alrighty then, and this, and as I said, this is a big clash because in the red corner we have the Ampelosaurus. Yes, another gold dinosaur still in this tournament. Actually, I think all the gold dinosaurs made it through. But one of them's going to fall here because in the blue corner we have Brontekins, a tournament favourite. Pretty much dominated against the Decreosaurus in the first round, I should say. A very powerful dinosaur as well, and I probably suspect it will defeat Amplosaurus here. But, you know, I wouldn't discount Amplosaurus. I could do it. <laughs> Oop, we start with a tie. I think they took the same damage, yeah. And another tie. And another tie. <laughs> Come on, going to hit off. Someone got a hit. Ooh, and is Ampelosaurus going to get the first hit? Not too much damage dealt, but there's a technique boost there to help to help get Aqua Vortex off more often. Oh, another tie. <laughs> oh, don't say it's going to be all ties. Ah, Brontekin striking back though. A big hit coming from Brontekins, but the Aqua Vortex is triggered. And there's a defense boost from Brontekins. Hmm, no Aqua Javelin or Anya Rudolph. Interesting. That don't happen often. Ooh, but Brontekins does get another hit. And this time the Onion Guerra does come in. Uh, this Aqua Javelin here will finish off Amplosaurus. And there is no Aqua Javelin, but it's Spectral Armor time. Alright, that took a while, but it's Jack Armor time. Ooh, will we see Spectral Destroyer or will the Amplosaurus put a stop to it? Okay, that's five. And oh, no, that's a five. Well, I don't think... Oh, the Amplosaurus survived! Oh, well, we're not going to see Spectral Destroyer, but Brontekins does take the win. Oh, that's a bit disappointing. I'd rather just get Spectral Destroyer off. Should I have just done it anyway? I mean, the Amplosaurus was going to die. Maybe I should have just done it. Anyway, on to round two. Alright, we're on the round two. Will the Amplosaurus, can the Amplosaurus dig deep to even the score? Or will Brontekins continue to dominate? Although it didn't dominate that much in the last round, I mean... It was mainly ties when he only got like two hits off, but his health was in the red, so... I'd say the Amplosaurus did put up a good fight last round. But Brontekins just edged it. Skip! So, as I just said, I think the Amplosaurus is going to have to dig deep here if he wants to win this round. 
Ooh, that's a good start. That crit right off the bat from Amplosaurus. That could be just what it needs. A good well, not too much damage dealt, but a good start. Ooh, another hit. The Brontokin's not off to a good start. As a tail smash comes in from the Amplosaurus. Hmm. But don't count out Brontokin's yet. As all it could take for him is to get one hit off. Like that. And there is a defense boost to boot. Ooh, an Aqua Vortex has been triggered. Uh, not too much damage done to the Amplosaurus. No Aqua Javelin either. That is a surprise. Brontekin's not getting the rub of the green so far. Ooh. We're going to see an Aqua Vortex from the Amplosaurus. Uh, this might be curtains for Brontekin's. No, I think the defense boost will keep her alive. I think Brontekin's will just survive this. Uh, not good for Brontokins, and all of its moves have been nullified. And that's Brontokins dead. The Amplosaurus doing really well there. Only getting hit once by Brontokins, and even in the score, which makes this next round very interesting. Alrighty then, well we know the combatants at this point. We're one apiece here, the Brontokins. Not as untouchable as it was the first round against the Decreosaurus. The Amplosaurus definitely putting up a really good fight. And is on the... well, and is one win away from pulling off an upset and knocking out Brontokins. Oh, but Brontokins getting the first hit this time. No one young will dive though. The defense boost there. No Aqua Javelin! Wow, that is really surprising. The Brontokin's definitely not getting the rubber of green so far. All the matches so far, only one only one Onion Guero dive. I, I think it was only one. Might have been two. Ooh, a tie. But that's going to suit Brontokin's more because that bar will fill up. And when it fills up, Spectral Destroyer is going to be happening. And a crit from Brontekins will help as well. But Aqua Vortex gets triggered. Oh, an Aqua Javelin! Just when Brontekins might need it. The Amplosaurus might die here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, the Brontekins didn't like getting beaten in the second round. So absolutely dominated the Amplosaurus. And eliminates it from the tournament. And... No surprise to see Brontekin's fruit to the semi-final. Right, now we're on to our final match of this video. Alright, our final matchup of this video. See the Nemectosaurus here, in the red corner, facing off against Spinotector. But more on Spinotector in a minute, because here we have the, the Nemectosaurus. And did pretty well against Sodosaurus in the la in the first round. A 2-0 victory over him? I think it was 2-0. Anyway, in the blue corner, we have the Spinotactor, like Brontokins, one of the tournament favourites. And we definitely saw why in the first round against Alpha Irritator, coming from behind to defeat him. Well, it won 2-0, but I think it came from behind in both matches. That Ocean Panic proved crucial. But I think, yeah, I think the Nemectosaurus is in over its head here. I don't think he'll beat Spinotactor. But, you know, he did pull off a slight surprise against Saltosaurus. So you, you never know. And he does get the first hit. Ooh, but the Spinotactor striking back with Tail Smash. Boah, push. Decent amount of, Wow, that's quite a lot of damage, actually. Given it's not a critical move. Then the Megdosaurus. Can't afford any more hits like that. Well, not too many more. Can afford probably another one. 
And all the more while that bar is filling up. And that is definitely not good for Namegdosaurus. A critical hit there, leaving Nemeg's health in the red. Ooh, it's a tie. You know what that means? It's Ocean Panic time. And once again, Spinal Tactor using Ocean Panic to finish off his opponent. Well, that's a first round win for Spinal Tactor. No surprise there. Pretty much on top throughout the whole match. Well, this next round should be quick, shouldn't it? Alright, on to round two. Will it be as quick and painful as the first round was for Namegdosaurus? Or can he actually dig deep? Yeah, look at that technique. 1,007. I think, yeah, I think that's the most technique. Oh, maybe not, actually. Maybe some of the... Lower dinos with like thousand technique will have more. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, will it be a quick and easy win for Spinal Tector? Or will the Megdosaurus pull off a surprise? Um, based on that start, I'm going to say quick and easy for Spinal Tector. Oh, oh, the Megdosaurus does strike back. It does get a hit. Again, not too much damage dealt. I think all his power is in its crypt. Oh, no, nope, Spinal Tector strikes back. And once again, the Nemegdosaurus is on the ropes. Oh my god. <laughs> this is going to be quick, isn't it? Oh, and there's the battle type there. I think it's the paper paper type. I mean, it doesn't really matter, because if the Spinal Tector gets a hit, it's going to win. And well, he's getting a hit. And it's going to be curtains for Namegdosaurus. In a quite dominant display by Spinal Tector, he takes his place in the semi-finals. Right, that was quick, wasn't it? Right, let's have a look at the next matches for next time. Right, looking at the table, yeah, that, this was a good matchup. The Isosaurus against Spinosaurus, really close, but the Spinosaurus did take it. And no surprise to see Brontokins through, and again, no surprise to see Spinal Tector through. And we will find out who who these three will play in the next video. So stay tuned for when we see Patagosaurus against Alpha Suko, Gondwana Titan vs Baryonyx, and Spiny vs Augustinia. Until then, this is Stranger Gamer, signing out.